Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and hopefully you guys are excited. Um, I'm extremely excited to share this with you guys. This is actually the most excited I've been in a long time to share something uh, because I have um, been working on what is probably the biggest project that I have worked on or shown since my DaVinci uh, complete board swap conversion. And basically I talked about in one of my previous videos not too long ago, like probably earlier this week, that I'm going to be completely overhauling this 3D printer right here, which is Bob CNC, the RP9V2, and making it my flagship machine, just the beast of all of my 3D printers. And um, I talked about the different things I was going to do, and one of the first things I needed to do was basically completely remove his X axis, the left and right side, and make my own versions. I don't know when this will go up, but I live streamed on Friday for about three hours me 3D modeling the different parts. And so basically, I took these were the parts that were there beforehand, and I used my calipers to um, basically measure um, uh, measure everything. So I printed out this side as well as the other side, which I'll take the camera off in a second, show you guys close-ups. Um, I printed them in like 20% infill uh, and point, uh, 0.04 layer height um, because I wanted to, I'm sorry, 0.4 layer height, because I wanted to um, just make a quick print that wouldn't take forever so that way I could make sure that all of my you know measurements and stuff and everything would fit correctly. Uh, well, luckily, um, everything went 100% like amazingly. Um, the only thing that I changed was I added on both sides this little beam on the front and the back to give it additional support just because it is a pretty long flat surface. I also widened the hole for this um, uh, lead screw nut uh, attachment piece. I had to make that a little bit wider. So then I, had, I went ahead and printed them out at 0.2 layer height with 55% uh, infill. Um, and everything fit perfectly. The only issue I had was the smooth rods going through the holes, um, like right here and on the other side was just a little too tight, so I took a drill bit and widened it a little bit. Um, but I had somebody, uh, I want to say his name was Michael, in my stream yesterday who has the same printer that was interested in these files. Um, I will go ahead and edit the um, smooth rod hole and make it one millimeter wider in diameter before I upload the files so that way you won't have to edit that hopefully. So this is the left side hopefully I can get it to focus in yeah there we go so this is the left side um, this is by far the more um, difficult side just because it has the stepper motor mounted onto it it'll be interesting to see whether it can actually hold up um, again I I think it's going to be structurally sound enough just because of the infill that I used. Uh, again, 55% is really strong. Um, as well as these beams, it takes a lot of weight off of the end. I wish I could have extended it all the way. That would have been great. Um, I know right now it looks like it's completely bowed, but it's not. It's just the way the smooth rods are right now because I don't have um, I don't have the lead screws in right now, so that's all the weights on this side just appears that way. Um, but the lead screws will take a lot of weight off of this directly because it'll be, I mean, putting a lot of the weight right here. Um, slice down. Uh, but yeah, I was so ecstatic that this went so smoothly. Um, and again, you can see I have the attachment right here. Um, this is again the nut for the lead screw. Um, so I am very, very excited. Um, the only real adjustments I made, I, again, I kept, I pretty much kept Bob's original model with the exception of um, instead of having two separate pieces, like, let me see if I can show you with one hand basically he had like one piece right here and then one piece right here that would like attach to each other I made them one piece um, because it just made more sense to me structurally especially since I can do that with the you know plastic easily and then added these beams right here um, and aside from that the only other real adjustment I made was um, I did I got rid of he has this like wing, it's kind of like curved and like a wing. Um, I just kept it rectangle, um, which I guess a wing, the only thing that would have done is it could have saved some plastic, so um, maybe I will add that little cut or edit. Um, just, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I'm not going to add it to mine, but I might add it to the file I uploaded Thingiverse. I, I don't really care about, again, I was going, I said this in my stream, but I was going for performance um, and just the, the fact that it would work over design, um, you know, making it look pretty. 
I, I wasn't really too concerned about that, but anyway, I still think it looks pretty. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> and then again, I had to widen this right here because on this version it just uses the um, standard threaded rod and I have got the lead screws. Um, so that was the only edit I made to that one. It has a little bit more work done. Um, I guess I kind of simplified it in a sense. So here is how it originally looked and here's it now, a lot smaller of a piece because there was a stepper motor originally mounted right here on this side because it was a Bowden setup but I'm actually switching this to a direct drive um, extruder setup, getting rid of the Bowden setup. I don't like Bowden setups at all so um, basically where we are at right now I am waiting on, I ordered two couplers um, that are 3mm to 8mm because the threaded screws, let me see if I got one, threaded screws are a lot thicker than the threaded rods, so, or the lead screws, so um, I have to go with a wider coupler, so I'm waiting on that. I also need to cut down the lead screws to size, um, so that way um, they work, because they're 400 millimeters right now, I need them to be about 250 to 300, so um, I bought a I already had this at one point, but I can't find it right now for whatever reasoning, so I just bought another one, little attachments for my Dremel, uh, basically just the cutting wheel reinforced, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Um, then I, the probably the hardest part that I'll have left is, I was trying to find some kind of a direct drive extruder that I could use um, on Thingiverse, and most of them are for the Prusa i3s with the style of... Um, like one smooth rod on top of their smooth rod, while this one's more like a Mendel style. Um, so it was really difficult for me to find an existing model that I could use, so I think I'm probably going to... I didn't want to because I want to get this up and running as quick as possible, but um, it's going to look like I'm going to have to actually design my own from scratch, so I will probably begin working with that. I plan on using um, two LM8U bearings here, one here, and then I'll have to see if I can somehow um, combine something that already exists or completely create my own um, direct drive extruder method um, with a little attachment for the um, uh, blah, 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 what's it called the sensor I can't think of what it's called right now off the top of my head um, so yeah that is where we are currently at but I mean pretty huge um, pretty huge amounts of progress I can't even think of the word right now I'm kind of tired and I'm getting ready to run here um, but, um, yeah, I just am really, really excited that this worked out, and I had a lot of fun. Like I said, I did, modeled the whole thing on stream. Uh, it was like a three-hour event, and thank you, you know, to everyone that came and hung out. It was a lot of fun. So, hopefully, uh, if I get a chance, I'll try to work on the extruder and the X, uh, X-axis extruder assembly on stream, too. But, um, uh, definitely making progress. This is huge. This is two major components, and... Um, again, over time it'll tell whether they're how structurally sound they are and I'll know more so as time progresses and once I have the lead screws installed, but right now it's looking very optimistic. I know this side is 100% fine. Once again, it's just this side that will, time will tell because of the fact that it's got the weight of the, um, you know, the stepper motor right there. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, again, I will go ahead and post these files on Thingiverse, but I'll probably wait until I'm completely done with this project. Um, before I do so. So, uh, you know, if you are waiting for that, um, just hold on a little bit longer. But uh, again, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great New Year's, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Daniel from Modbot, and I am out. Peace.